Hi again, thank you for watching this video. This is another great video for the Brilliant Directories platform. Today, on this video, we're going to go through how the tables in the database relate to each other based on the user's data table. So let's go over there. Remember, we go to the developers section here in the sidebar and then click on MySQL database. We should then be sent to the PHP Miami which is our backend uh, database management system. Let's click on our database here. And then just search, let's search for the user's data. So here we are in the user's data. And we have all this information about our users, OK? We have information about uh, the password they have, the membership level they have, uh, education, awards, experience, blogs, links to YouTube, Facebook, their Facebook pages, their website, state, and more. Okay. But what we're going to do today is see how the different categories, with this I mean the professions and services, relate to the user's data table. So here we can see the first column. It's a user ID, user underscore ID, and he has a number there. Okay, there's a table called Relation Services or REL Services, REL R E L underscore Services. If we click on it, we can see it has a couple of columns, but the basic idea here is the first column, which is the user ID, it's the one that relates to the user's data table. And this second one, the service ID, relates to what's called the list services. You can see it here. Okay? If we click on the list services, we're going to see a couple of services here. We got the service ID 3 and 4. This table, this is important to know, this table holds all the subcategories and sub subcategories. Okay? So you may be asking, OK, but where are the top categories, top uh, primary level categories? Those are shown here on the profession ID uh, one or here on the master ID. I'm going to explain this further. But first, let me explain the other table that holds uh, category information. So we have the services, which holds the sub and sub sub categories. And then we have the list professions. This table, list professions, it's the actual top level category um, table. So here you'll see all the top level categories and only the top level categories. You have sample category here, another top here, the, the file name, which is used in the URL. So if I type my site.com slash sample category, I should land on all the members that have this uh, top level category assigned to them. So you can see the, the number here, the profession ID, which we call it, one and two. If you go to the um, list services, you're going to notice something. You're going to notice that we have uh, these two columns, like I mentioned, master ID and profession ID, and they have a number. Okay, They have this uh, ID here which tells this row that it's a subcategory of this profession ID from the list professions. So these two, both of the rows, belong to the sample category, top level category, OK? Because it has a 1 here for the prof profession ID. If you go to list services, you're going to see the same 1 here. But why am I mentioning this one here? OK, so with this one, we know to what top level category a specific category belongs to, is assigned to. OK, but if you see a number right here in the master category, a master ID, sorry, on the master ID column, a number, this number actually tells this row that this specific row is a sub sub category, not just a sub like this one. This would be a subcategory of the professional ID with an ID of one. In this case, this would be a sub subcategory because the three actually points 
to a service ID. So you can see here the three. So basically this means that this sample sub sub category is actually a subcategory of this one, which also is a subcategory of the profession uh, the profession ID here. So we have like sample category, which inside of it we have one subcategory and then followed by another sub subcategory for it. So that's this one relates to the top categories and this one relates to the uh, subcategories which would be a service ID on this same table. So if I added another row that said, for example, uh, another three here, then it would be a subcategory of this one. If it said zero, then it would be a subcategory of the top uh, profession ID. So this is important to know. Why? Because this way, then you know uh, where to look for the services if you want to edit them uh, delete a whole bunch of them or add a whole bunch of them you can see how they relate here remember the professional ID relates to the ID of the top level categories here in the list professions and the master ID relates to the service ID shown on the same um, table so you can expand on this so with that said here we have the service ID, we got three and four, okay? And the um, rel services, here you can see it here, actually relates to those service ID in the list services. So you can see here four, three, and four. So my the user uh, with an ID of one has a uh, um, service ID of four assigned to it, which would mean that the user that has one uh, select a sample sub sub category on their profile page. If we go to rel services again, we can see that the user 21 21 selected the sub um, uh, category and then the sub sub category for it. So this is how users are related to the subcategories and sub sub categories. And before you ask, the top level categories are actually on the same table as the users. So if you go to users data and we let's scroll a bit to the right, we should see a, a column called uh, profession, profession ID, somewhere around here, here it is, profession ID and we have the one. Yeah, because we only have one uh, top category. That's why all of them have one. But if we have multiple, then you would see the different uh, top levels here. So that's about it. I hope the video helped you a bit on how users are related to the categories, which are professions called here, and the sub and sub sub categories, which are called services here. So this way you know how to create new queries, how to work with widgets based on this information and more. So have an excellent day. Remember, think positive and enjoy.